would say it's one of the best music, wine, and food festivals in the United States. There's so many incredible restaurants in the Bay Area and they definitely all come here and offer their incredible food. You've got the best restaurants in all of Napa Valley and locally in Northern California that are here at the festival, plus all our wineries here in Napa. I think that this festival is probably almost equally as big a food festival as it is a music festival. There's lots of food to choose from. The people are fantastic, so it's been a really good experience. We're at Bottle Rock, to me, the best music festival in the country at the highest level, which represents Napa Valley and all that we do. It's a little different than our restaurants. It's uh, something that our whole team enjoys doing and getting involved in. I mean, we all love music, especially this year, not having live music for so long. To be able to get that again is, is just tremendous. You come here and it's like, you have something for your eyes, your ears, your mouth, to feel the music on your body, right? It's like, it's like, it's something for all your senses, which is unique. Because some festivals, the music's great, but then it's like, beverages and the food's not that great. And you can get a, like a delicious wine, let's say butter Chardonnay, this rich, delicious, lovely buttery Chardonnay, and then you can walk straight over to Goose and Gander and get the most delicious, juicy burger to go along with it. It's just the best experience ever. Well, I'm very much a foodie, so coming to Napa, I was excited because I heard there were going to be lots of different options and um, really excited about the selection. I had a ramen burger, so Wagyu beef sandwiched between two ramen buns. Rock on, it was fantastic. It's everything that you would normally see turned up 10. There's paella and there's sushi burrito, so there's just things you wouldn't necessarily expect and it's just delicious. So this is dumplings, it's actually from LA, so they came all the way up here to Napa just to have us have some dumplings. We start at the beginning, there's a lot of food trucks, and then you walk into this culinary area and it's all kind of upper scale, high-end food. We couldn't even decide, we were so hungry, we went from booth to booth, so there's so many options, it's really great. It's exhilarating to say the least that we can talk about our wines, we can be at this festival, we can promote our wines, promote Napa Valley, promote Bottle Rock, and also hang out and be together at the same time and have fun. So today what we've got going, our classic uh, mustards grill, we're doing smoked uh, Snake River Farms uh, pork nachos. Pork slow smoked for about eight to 10 hours. We are also doing the uh, Wagyu brisket, which is about 15 hours of uh, slow smoking. Smoked pork tacos. Uh, we're also doing uh, fresh Pacific lean cod tacos. We partnered with him in doing Blanchard's, Chris Blanchard uh, Mustard's Grill uh, fried chicken. Lovsky is a Jewish deli, which is what we're calling it. It is some traditional flavors and products from a traditional Jewish delis. A little bit more of a modern spin and approach, you know, utilizing things from our farm and fermentation and smoked meats and all those great things. The Lovsky fries <laughs> are uh, a crinkle cut fry that we've, we've crisped up some pastrami. Um, we've got a cheese fondue and a nice pickle garnish here. Uh, we've got a, a vegan sandwich, just a, a roasted chickpeas with a uh, nice vegan mayo, roasted garlic, uh, a nice lot of, a lot of vegetables. And then we've got a roast beef sandwich. It's got a uh, horseradish beet uh, condiment on there and some nice spicy greens, also tossed with a little bit of vinaigrette. We're lucky enough to be here in Napa Valley and having the festival be a part of our community. You know, it highlights all of us and that's a wonderful thing. 